So I'm back today with this Creality Falcon 2 Pro 22 watt model from Creality. It's a laser cutter and engraver. We'll unbox this here in a second, but let me just run you through some of the interesting parts of it. The cover on it is fully transparent, which you'll see, which lets you get a really nice view. Um, I love that because then I can check from any angle and I can kind of see what's going on inside instead of just like a little viewing window. So I like that. It's got a built-in top camera so you can get accurate alignment for precise cutting and engraving. I'm really looking forward to trying that. You can upgrade it later to the 40 watt um, laser module if you want or it works with the 22 watt which is what I have. The 40 watt version also has a bonus like 1.6 watt laser module for I guess finer detail. Um, I don't have that, but that's an option. It has some kind of drawer design. We'll check that out when we open it up. And then the protection grid, the strips, the honeycomb, whatever, it looks like it has two different modes, so we'll take a look at that. It has a built-in air purification system with uh, like a multi-position switch control, built-in fan. Uh, you can pair it with an air purifier that they sell if you want. And it's got three kinds of monitoring for airflow, lens, and flames, which gives you a bunch of like safety redundancies in case you know something goes wrong, that it, it safely handles it. Um, again, it's a fully enclosed structure, which is nice because then you can channel the smoke and stuff exactly where you want it, unlike an open frame where it's just kind of going wherever and it's hard to direct out of your workspace. The uh, deeply transparent red cover um, also handles some of the laser stuff, like laser safety, so you don't have to have goggles on or, or eye pro on while you're taking a look at your project. Uh, open frame, you'd always need glasses on. Something like a fiber laser, you're always going to need glasses on. But it's kind of nice here because you can you can be in your workspace and not have to worry about eye damage. It's also got some warning indicator lights. I like that you get like the real-time preview because of the camera, so you know exactly where you're engraving on something. That's what I'm interested in, because you can put a piece that already exists in there, line it up, and you're good to go. You're not guessing, you're not wasting material. I'm really looking forward to that. It does have an integrated air assist, like a lot of these lasers do, which, you know, just helps out. It'll do um, vector graphics like SVG, PNG, JPEG, uh, bitmap, DXF, and some other stuff. You can do, I don't know, cardboard, wood, bamboo, rubber, uh, leather, fabric, acrylic, plastics that are safe to use with a laser. Um, you should be able to do like anodized metal and some other stuff. And then what I really like is it's, it's a pretty big work area. You get 400 by 415 millimeters, and then it'll work with like laser GRBL or light burn. I'm gonna use light burn because I have like three different licenses for light burn and I really like it. So yeah, let me get this out of the box and then we'll take a look at it. So I kind of had assumed that it would be assembled. Um, there's still a lot of assembly to do here. You got like the main part and we got to put the lid on it. We have to do some rails and the USB cam, the air pump, and then the laser. All right, so I've got it unboxed. I've got it all put together. Um, it was relatively easy. There's this piece, this piece, the two red pieces on either side, the tray just slides right in. You have to put every single slat of like the honeycomb bed thing in. That took like a minute or two. Um, then you have to attach the laser. You plug in two cables, you plug in the air pump, uh, you plug in the air line to the laser, you power the air pump, and then you plug in your power and USB. The USB for the camera is separate. So you take those both out to your computer. And then there's your, your insides. So it does come with some test materials that I threw in here just to get out of my way. That's kind of nice. Um, I'm assuming that's a test grid for the camera or something. We'll play with that shortly. I've now got it hooked up. One other thing, it did come with glasses in case you wanted to operate with the door open if you had something that was a weird shape or something. Um, I would just keep the door down myself. It's got a nice cable management system for the laser power and the laser air. The fan on the exhaust side pushes down into a channel, which is real nice because it keeps the cable out of the way. I, I really liked that. That was pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. You do have keys, so you can completely immobilize it if you get kids or whatever. And you get your emergency stop. You have your fan power switch and then your light power switch on the right. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get this thing going. So now that I've had a chance to play with this a little more, I just wanna show you something cool. Like it said it came with this drawer, 
but I didn't realize how great this was going to be. At first I was like, oh, I don't care about a drawer, I can just reach down through the slats. No, this is great. If anything falls through the like honeycomb slats, you just reach in here and you just pick up your piece. Like, this is genius. Why don't all of these things have this? I love this thing so much. And then I guess when you're not using it, like I could throw a couple of things in here just as storage. But for the most part, I, it's just for like catching stuff that falls. And then you can easily clean out all these little pieces and everything. You don't have to worry about fires happening because of that. Another cool thing is there's these two sensors right here. If this drawer is not shut, it will not operate. You cannot use the laser which is good because it means if a laser comes down through here, it's not going to reflect and cause eye damage or something. I love that little feature so much. Um, I love this little bread box style lid too. Makes it easy to get to everything. And you know, these slats, they're adjustable. The lighting's terrible in there. I'm sorry. Let's get you, okay, there we go. They just lift right up and then you can move them closer or farther apart within the confines of the plastic, or I mean the, um, no plastic. There you go. You just put them in these little peg hole things. It's great. Um, again, I really love this cabling system. I've used this thing a bunch now. You can kind of see some of my stuff here, and we're going to look at this later in the video, but I just had to share those cool features. I could, this drawer is just, it's wonderful. I love it so much. But yeah. Now that I've had a chance to play with the Creality Falcon 2 Pro, um, I'm pretty happy with it. Nothing was like a steep learning curve. Yeah, I do have experience with some other lasers and stuff, but it was pretty, pretty easy and straightforward. The assembly, you know, took a little bit of time, but it's a quality product. And the hardest part was probably just screwing in all the screws for the protective cover, the, the red part. And it was just because there was probably, I don't know, four, five, 10, probably 20 screws just for that. So, you know, it took a little bit of time. But other than that, it, like no complaints whatsoever. Um, everything worked fine. It was easy to set up the camera. Uh, the manual comes with the thing that walks you through it. And other than that, it was pretty easy. It just a little time consuming on the camera because you had to do a bunch of calibration stuff inside light burn. Let's see here. So the first thing I want to show you is I cut these knives here. They're, you know, your horror film. You've got Chucky. You've got, like, I feel like this is supposed to just be Robert England. Um, that doesn't look the best, but you got Jason, you got Michael Myers, you got the clown from It, uh, what is his name, Pennyworth, and then you have the Scream Mask. I was pretty happy with these. This is my first attempt. They cut nicely. If we'd focus, there we go. You can see them. They uh, they cut real nice. I did get a little little too high and with the, the air assist, but that's my fault. That is not the fault of the laser. Um, this is three millimeter wood. And again, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So let's clear those out real quick. I also went ahead and tried this on acrylic. Um, I used the screen one. There we go, you can get a good view. There we go. So, yeah. I mean, it cut and engraved the acrylic pretty good. Fun little thing. So you could do a lot of cooler stuff than that, but I just wanted to do a couple little quick tests on this video just to see what was going on. And that was that, pretty much. Um, I will have another video that should be up when you're seeing this that shows the different kinds of materials you can use and stuff and just taking a quick look at them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I really love this. I'll have a link to it in the description. There'll be a link to it in the sticky comment as normal. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. If you have any tips for settings or anything, if you've got one of these and you've been playing with it, hey, I would love to learn from you. Um, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.